Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations of Star Child Tarot. Tarot. I'm here today with a pick a pile. <clears throat> and today we've got um, spirit guide mess guidance for you. Okay, so your, your guides, your angels, they want to come through with some guidance for you right now. Okay, so pre-shop with the oracles and then we're going to get some tarot messages at the end. And then some final guidance cards at the end as well. <clears throat> I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support. I really appreciate that. I've recently released a new um, ebook called Poems of a Star Child, which is on Amazon. The link's down below. I'm also doing special offer on my mini tarot course for three videos um, explaining all about the cards. <clears throat> That's just £20 right now. Or you can join my Patreon VIP and they're on there as part of that package. Um, okay, so I'm just going to get on with it. So if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. So pile one, we have Transcending, Pegasus. Pile two, we have Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat. And pile three, Starry Night Acceptance. So pick your pile and we'll get your messages. Hello pile one, so I've got the oracles here. We're going to get these oracles at the end after the tarot. <clears throat> so we start with the oracles. So what do your spirit guides want to guide you, tell you about right now? So we've got the Pegasus energy transcending and the number 23, which is a five. And five is the energy of change. They want you to transcend. They want you to realize that you can overcome any obstacles that you can sail over them, you can fly high above them, and also that your vibration is rising as well. Um, you're becoming higher in vibration because of all the work you've been doing on yourself, um, whatever that is, healing, releasing, um, cutting cords, whatever you've been doing, um, you are transcending, you're going to a new level in your life. And they want you to know that you're going to fly, you, you've got the ability to fly high. And it's only you stopping you. Okay. Beautiful. We've got Rosemary. Ancient memory number three. So you could be working on some past memories. Past life memories. Memories within this life. That have been quite painful. Um, you know revisiting them. Sometimes we need to revisit them. And to release. She's got sage there. Um, she's got like a magic wand so I feel you're transmuting these energies you're clearing like I said at the beginning clearing cleansing healing releasing and your spirit guides are around you look like, I see this as a spirit guide could be an ancestor but you know there's somebody around you could be your your own guide um, the one closest to you it, it could even be your higher self energy um, but they want to connect with you more. They want you to open up to their connection and embrace this connection. And rosemary as well is a beautiful herb. Um, that could really help maybe in your home. Um, burning some rosemary, cleanse and clear that energy out. Um, you know, use sage, use rosemary, whatever resonates, Palo Santo. And the sun is going to start shining. You're going to clear away these clouds. And you're going to come into a much lighter energy. I feel there's been like a dark cloud hanging around you. And she's got like a, a cloak on, covered in stars. Um, so you could resonate as a star seed. You could be somebody that has these magical abilities. And you've not tapped into them as yet. And I feel as you do this clearing. And as you release these ancient memories. Of you know negative memories. But you tap into those ancient aspects of you. Where those gifts are stored. And you access them, that access them, you're going to come more into the, the magic of who you truly are. We've got Calendula, number one, purity. So number one, so there's a new, new beginning for you, a fresh start. And I get in the child work here. Uh, we've got a small child there with the swing. There could be some inner child wounding here. Um, and again, there's like a, a guide here. There's like a guide around you, somebody helping you. Um, this could be your higher self um, or a particular guide that's helping you with this. And we've got the beautiful sunflowers. 
um, which is always a sign of like, you know, happiness and joy for me. And they want you to tap into that child aspect of you. Go f go to the park, you know, play like a child, you know, go on the swings, the slide, run around, you know, like children do, just free, they're in the moment. And they want you to tap into that inner child aspect, that playful, fun, innocent part of you. And that will bring out happier times within you. It will clear it clear. We've got purity. It will clear out dark negative energies or memories around. We started off with memories just a minute um, around childhood wounding. And, and you can do that in a child. You know, you work. You can connect with your inner child and ask, ask your inner child what it needs from you. But also connect to that playful fun aspect and I actually made a video a while back now about connecting with your inner child from a playful perspective. So that might help you with a visualisation idea. We've got star gathering. Stars aligned, remembering home, soul family. So again, I definitely feel for a lot of you, you resonate as a star seed. And you could have had lifetimes on many other planets, dimensions, your home planet. Um, your family there wanting to connect with you. Um, this has been com coming through a lot lately. Um, they want you to remember where you come from. They want you to remember who you truly are. And you you lived in a higher dimension. You, you lived in a dimension where it wasn't so physical. It was more light, more light bodies, more light beings. Um, you know, less dense, higher energy, higher vibration. And you came here to experience the density. And it could be very difficult for you. I mean, it is a difficult place. And they want you to know your soul family is there for you. And again, it's time to connect, to reach out, to pray, to meditate on this, to really reconnect with your star family. Um, they're wanting to reconnect with you here. So that's beautiful. So beautiful. And we have Venusian Galactic Council, star being guides, answer the call, time to shine. Look at the beautiful image on here. It's so bright. And like I just said, light beings, I feel this was you in another lifetime or many lifetimes. You could have lived on Venus. Um, maybe you were part of the Venus Gal Venusian Galactic Council. You are a wise one, I feel. Um, but you have these guides um, around you that want you, want you to connect with them again. They want you to answer the call, to acknowledge who you truly are and really connect with that again. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to take off the cloak. It's time for you to take off the mask. It's time for you to show your light in the world. That's why you came here, to show <coughs> that vibration of love and light energy. <coughs> Sorry about that. The vibration of light and love energy that you carry within you, within your DNA. This is part of who you are. So don't be afraid to shine, okay? It's time. And I know it can be hard sometimes to, to be seen in this in this dimension. And we've got deep sea diving. Way of the mystic. Learn through experiencing and depths, yeah. It's time to dive right in to the depths of who you are. To the depths of your emotions. You know, we started off with that, doing that deep healing and clearing and cleansing, cutting cords, connecting with ancestral memories, memories in this life, past life memories, whatever that is. Um, <clears throat> it's time to dive into that. You are a mystic, okay? And through your experiences, through your deep experiences, through many lifetimes, you're an old soul, many dimensions, many planets, um, you've experienced everything and you can show others and you've learned a lot as well and you have a lot to share and by diving deep into your own emotions and feelings you can show others the way I feel we've got flow look at that beautiful Is that, oh, that's a beautiful moon energy and as I'm recording this we've just had that beautiful new moon energy um, so this is, looks like a full moon though. So between now and the, the full moon, um, it's time to step into the flow of life. Um, stop resisting, stop trying to control, 
just step into the flow and I know that's easier said than done I, I you know I have issues with that myself but that's what they want you to do because things will become more synchronistic and you'll tap into those things that are there for you it's just that when you're trying to control or you're trying to push the flow you stop the flow basically so they want you you step into the flow more we have pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle wow i just said that at the beginning and look at these beautiful light energies here as well so you are a pillar of light in this world i mean look at the light this is this is who you truly are the light you came here to spread the light to spread love around this planet to help raise the vibration of the planet and the people and the density here you are meant to shine your light in the world and you are starting to realize that and connect with that i feel and you're going to be transcending all the 3d bs and you are the oracle you can show off as a way you can explain it to people you can help them along the path and i feel that is part of your mission here wow how beautiful so let's get some tarot and we're going to get some guidance at the end so for pile one what do their spirit guides want them to know we've got the ace of cups so i feel this is all about self-love loving yourself knowing your worth knowing you're deserving deserving we've got six of pentacles so balancing out your energies, you know, between your head and heart, between the dark and light, between the masculine and feminine. Yeah, don't forget to look at your shadow side because it's only when we look at the shadow side that we can bring light to it. And I feel that you leading by example by doing that will show others the way. Um, because when we don't look at the shadow side within us, which we all have, it just becomes bigger until it becomes overwhelming and we need to keep in balance. And as I said that, we have the temperance again. Look at that beautiful rainbow. So you're definitely balancing out your energies here. Anything else? Yeah, your life is definitely going to start moving forward. Look at those new shoots there. New growth, new beginnings, and we've got the Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment ahead for you. You know, focus on what it is you want rather than what you don't want because you're going to manifest that. So let's get your final guidance. Look at that shine. I love the way spirit works. And we've got sunflowers again. Oh my God. And we've got the sun and the moon on here as well. So again, that masculine feminine balancing out the dark and the light. And the sunflowers could be particularly significant for you. But it's always to me that happiness, you know, joy, happiness, lightheartedness. And it's your time to shine. They want you to shine. That's what you're here to do. And speak your world into being. So be, you know, conscious of your thoughts, your words, your actions. Because whatever you focus on, you bring into being. You're that powerful. You're that masterful. Again, and it's time to balance your energies and show other people the way. You can speak your world into being. So whatever you want to manifest, you will bring that into creation. So watch your thoughts, words and deeds. Make sure they're positive. And make time for self-love. Yeah, we had that Ace of Cups. So... It's all about loving self because once and Libra is the scales of balance as well. So when you know that you're worthy of love, when you know you're deserving of love, you know, you, you do those loving things for yourself and you expect loving things for yourself and you don't expect anything less. You don't accept breadcrumbs anymore or, you know, false promises um, or deceit or betrayal. You love yourself enough to know that you're worth and you know you're deserving so I'm going to leave it there, part one, love and blessing. Hello, part two. So what do your spirit guides want you to know right now? Um, Pre-shuffle the oracles and we're going to get some tarot and we're going to get some guidance at the end. So let's have a look and see what the message is for you. So you chose retreat, spirit guardian of winter. We've got a beautiful snow globe there. We've got the number 38, which is an 11. I love those snow globes, they're so beautiful. So there's a beautiful winter scene here. Excuse me, so you could live in the northern hemisphere like me. You're coming into, we're in winter time. And a lot of people do retreat over this time. You know, we sort of do, although we have things to do and the celebrations, a lot of people do retreat. 
and the advice is for you to retreat right now to take some time out to take some rest maybe you've been working hard and they want you to chill out and relax and you know if possible maybe spend time alone and really spend that time with yourself at the, at, when you can joy hummingbird spirit number two two wow so the hummingbird, you know, he finds the nectar, doesn't he? Flies around, drinking the nectar, doing all the things that make them feel good. And I feel this is what you need to do to find the joy in your life. Maybe there's been a lack of joy in your life and they want you to experience joy. There should be a balance, shouldn't there? It shouldn't all be doom and gloom. We need those happy times. We need those joyful times. And they want you to find the sweetness in life, the nectar in life. What brings you joy? What makes you happy? So they want you to focus on that. And maybe that time in retreat, you can help focus yourself on that. What brings you joy? And we've got nettle action number 21. So again, I feel after a period of retreat, there will be time for action. But right now they want you to retreat, to recharge. And then when you feel rested and you've connected with what you need to do, you can take action on that moving forward. And the nettle, that can sting. Um, I've got stung loads of times as a kid um, from nettles. Um, you know, I lived in the country, and they can sting. You know, they can give us, you know, rashes and all sorts. Um, so, yeah, they want you to avoid that. You know, do things that bring you joy, is what I feel. Don't do things that bring you stress or rashes or discomfort in any way. They want you to look for the things that bring you joy. It's the message I get there. Because you deserve joy. We have Carver Carver community number 48. Which is a 12, which is a 3, which is about collaboration. We've got beautiful blue butterfly. And there's a group there... Not sure what they're doing. I think, oh, they're playing instruments and dancing. Sorry, my eyes are not great. Um, yeah, so I think the suggestion is to for you to join a community if you're not already in a community. Maybe it is a musical community. Um, you know, it could be a drum circle. Uh, could be any sort of instrument. You know, join a group, high vibrational group, you know, that dance, sing. Um, this could just be friends that you meet with that are into that um, or any artistic pursuit um, will bring you that higher vibration, will bring you that joy, that lightness um, and allow yourself the time to do things that bring you joy, that make you feel joyful, um, make you feel happy and life is about balance and I feel the message I get, you've been overworking and they want you to have more fun in your life, more joy. Wow, holy grail, inner discovery, finding sacredness, you are what you seek. Look at this beautiful carp, and it, this reminds me of the Ace of Cups, you know, that cup. This is self-love, your cup runneth over. This is where you need to get, okay, where your cup is running over. You could have been given from an empty cup, as I will say. Um, we need to take care of ourselves first before we can help others and give to others. You cannot give from an empty cup. So I feel this period of retreat is really going to help recharge you, to help you fill up your cup again, so that you have enough for yourself and others. And, you know, going inwards, finding your sacredness, and you are what you seek, you know, being in that energy of self-love, you will seek somebody who's also in that energy of self-love, they have that self-worth, self-love, you know, we've got the strong colours there, the green of the heart and the solar plexus. So somebody whose heart's open, this is you, have an open heart, be in that good self-worth, self-esteem, and you attract others to you in that vibration. Chamber of the Violet Flame, Karmic Release, Radical Transformation, how beautiful is that? So the Violet Flame is part of um, the Ascended Master, um, Saint Germain, um, that came down to earth, I'm not sure when, um, but it's available to us. You may see me use it in some of my meditations. Um, it's It clears any negativity, any toxicity, any density within us. It can help you. It says karmic release. 
um, radical transformation. So I feel you could be doing, or the suggestion is with this retreat, to do a lot of karmic release work, to really dive deep. You know, what are your patterns um, in life? What are your behaviours um, that you recognise is a karmic pattern um, that's not really doing you any favours? Um, I mean, obviously there's good karma as well, but I feel with the violet flame, this is transmuting that energy, um, getting rid of toxic behaviours, toxic thought patterns and negativity within your body, within your mind, within your life. So call on the violet flame to help you. Use it in meditation or something. And we have the waterfall. Inner power, unbridled confidence, claiming your place. So this is so cleansing, isn't it? The waterfall. So it could be time for you to cleanse your energy, to literally get under the shower, have have some salts, have some salts in there, or have a bath. Use Epsom salts. Um, work with crystals, oils, um, sage, Palo Santo. Um, really clear and cleanse your energy, and clear and cleanse your energy in your home as well, not just yourself. Um, and you're coming into a period of inner power. You're really going to be reclaiming your power. And I feel this is all to do with this releasing and going within and having that time out to really connect with yourself again and finding the joy in life, finding things that bring you joy. And you're going to be confident. Maybe you've been lacking in confidence um, <clears throat> and you're going to reclaim that. Your, your confidence is going to come back and claiming your place in the world um, knowing you, you have a place in the world, knowing you're here for a reason and knowing that you deserve to be in a good place in your life. Yeah, look at this new beginning. So there's definitely a new beginning and we can see the darkness. You've been through the darkness here and you're coming into the light. Um, you're coming into a much brighter time and we've got the orange and the yellow, the sacral and solar plexus, the masculine, feminine and the clock said 2202 then. So new beginnings. So I feel having that balance within your energy is really going to help you a lot. I know I keep saying that, but it is so important. And we've got Council of Light energy here. Divine orchestration, help us in the subtle realm. So your guides, your ancestors, your angels, um, your divine team... They want you to know, it's like a, a, a family photo. <laughs> it just reminds me of a family photo. They're looking down, they're watching you, they're guiding you. They just want you to connect with them more. Um, you know, open up to receive their information. They need our permission to come in and they want to help you, okay? They want to help you. They're watching. It's like if you watch a TV show, isn't it? And something, something happens and you can see something's going to happen. And you shout at the screen, but the people can't hear you. Um, and I feel there's a block there between your connection with them. So again, you know, with this retreat energy, try and clear. You know, we said about cleansing and clearing. So clear your space, clear your energy for a more open, wide and clear connection with your guides. Wow. So we've got stepping into your power. It's time. So after you've done this uh, work, you know, retreat, connecting with your joy, moving forward, it's time to step into your power. You are powerful. You're here for a reason. And you have a lot of love to share with others and yourself. It starts with self, as I said. And push through any insecurity. So again, your guides, your divine team, they want you to connect with them. They can assist you, okay, with any insecurity. They can support you. They can guide you further. But they need you to connect with them. And know you are loved. So they want you to know they love you. There's so much love for you out there. And you're, you're not alone. And sometimes we do feel alone. Um, but you are totally loved here. And it starts with ourselves. And I meant to do those cards at the end, but never mind. We'll do the tarot now. So what else does part two need to know from their guides? What do their guides want to tell them? What do you want part two to know? We have the world. So there's a whole new chapter starting in your life. 
and we're just coming into that new year as well aren't we you, you know as we record this it's december and we've got the four of wands so there's more stability you're building a firmer foundation in your life for yourself yeah you're leaving the past behind you're taking the lessons and you're leaving the past behind what else for pile two what do they need to know Yeah, we've got page of wands so follow your passions um take action take that first step forward and we've got the chariot energy so you you are going to move forward okay there is going to be movement forward here in your life yeah and we've got high priestess energy so they want you to tap more into your intuition more the more we use it the stronger it becomes and they want you to connect to them more as well so i'm going to leave it there part two love and blessings Hello, part three. What do your spirit guides want you to know right now? So I pre-shuffled the oracles. So we're going to look at those. And these we're going to do at the end. And we're going to get some tarot as well. So part three, you chose acceptance, starry night. And we have number 41, which is a five, which is the energy of change. So I feel that you're coming into the energy of acceptance. And it does look like a winter scene. So in the northern hemisphere, we are in the winter months now um but there's some sort of acceptance you're coming to acceptance of maybe where you're at and who you are um not trying to push just just in that energy of accepting where you're at right now and trusting you know trusting in the process i feel and we have echinacea destiny number 30 so destiny awaits there's something destined and this reminds me of like the wheel a fortune and we've got the moon energy there and we've got stars and we've got roots so i feel that you're getting more grounded or you're becoming more grounded into mother Gaia. maybe you felt you didn't belong here maybe you didn't want to be here um you could resonate as a star seed we've got that star there um and a lot, lot of us that do we we don't want to be here um and it's hard to feel that you want to be here um but i feel you're becoming more grounded you're realizing your purpose you're understanding that you're here to do something to help and you're ready to pursue your destiny and you're accepting that that goes with that acceptance i feel you're accepting why you're here and what you're here to do and you're learning more and more about that as you move forward and you want to collaborate with others with the three energy there you're going to be collaborating with maybe other star seeds as well or your guides are encouraging you to do that and we've got dandelion wounded healer so we've got the number five plus three which is a seven which is a year in so we're coming out of this year into an eight 2024 and we've got chiron there the wounded tina with his arrow and we're in sagittarius season right now so i feel that you could be doing some or they want you to do some very deep healing on yourself and we've got the roots there so i feel you are getting more grounded and connected to the planet to mother gaia and you're making wishes, you're allowing yourself to dream and to make a wish, to bring into manifestation your dreams, your wishes, your desires, um, wanting to create a life here, wanting to create more and doing that healing work and doing it on yourself, but also here to help others heal as well. Um, really here with that powerful healing energy here. And we've got the yellow there of the solar plexus. So I feel you're becoming more confident in your abilities as a healer and of who you are and why you're here as well. And they want you to, well, look at that. Talk about solar plexus. I am presence, light body activation, accessing the divine within. Wow, look at that. So this is you. This is who you truly are. You know, this beautiful divine being, this light body um from higher dimensions higher realms higher planets um you've experienced life in you know that isn't in form i mean we're in form on on the planet you've experienced life as a light body um lighter energy it could have been very difficult here for you and you're starting to access the divine within you you're starting to reconnect with who you truly are and acknowledging that you're here for a reason and you want to do your work you want to help others heal you want to heal yourself and you're doing that work and spreading the light and becoming more confident in yourself and your abilities with that beautiful yellow 
and with the purpley colours here your solar plexus could be activated as well sorry your third eye could be activated but also your solar plexus wow look at these colours solar light upgrade solar plexus chakra inner fire willpower yes look at these yellows I mean wow and I did shuffle these so and again we've got star look at that star in the middle so definitely I resonate that you could be a star seed or if you've not known that you know maybe this is a new idea for you this could resonate with you look look up about star seeds um but yeah the solar plexus ch chakra is getting activated in a big way your inner fire your determination your passion your drive um to help others to help yourself your willpower you're going to move forward and, and really push forward now and create the life of your dreams while helping others and we've got immerse yourself Training, learning, new hobbies and passions. Wow. So you're really going to be immersing yourself in this world, in this dimension. And you could have been detaching from it a lot because you become more grounded. You know, this person's out in the forest, in the woodlands there, but sort of above it. Um, but you've got all these root cards. So you're really getting more connected, I feel. And you're going through some sort of training, some sort of initiation, some learning. And this could be internal, this could be your guides and angels giving you downloads, this could be in your dreams. Um, you could be um, connecting to new hobbies, new passions. And this is really going to help bring your world alive on this planet right now. And really, you know, getting in touch with your feelings, what brings you joy, what brings you happiness. It's going to light you up, as we can see there. Something is really going to light you up. And we've got focus we've got the beautiful leopard and we've got the snow we've got winter time again so that's been a theme i mean i'm in the northern hemisphere so we are experiencing winter time but there's a mountain i feel you've had a mountain to climb okay there's been a lot um that you've had to deal with on this lifetime and there could be past lives um and the leopard you know there's that saying the leopard ne never changes their spots but I feel you are adapting, you're starting to adapt your environment, you're wanting to adapt to being here, to be more present in the moment, and to really be in your power with that solar, powerful solar plexus energy there. And they want you to focus on where you're going, they want you to focus on, on the, the road ahead, as it were, where do you want to go, where do you want to end up? And we've got to answer the call, what's your soul calling you to do? Wow. Wow. So, you know, take some time to contemplate, to meditate, be alone, you know, answer the call of your soul. What is your soul calling you to do? Connect with your soul, connect with your higher self, um, connect with your guides. They're wanting you to connect with them, you know, meditate, pray for guidance. I'm sorry, my camera's gone weird again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. So let's get some tarot. So, what do you want, spirit guys? What do you want? Oh dear. Sorry about the chair noise. What do you want, pile three to know? What's John to know? Yeah, we've got four of wands. So, there's definitely going to be renewed stability in your life. You're going to commit to this life. You're going to commit to moving forward and building a foundation for yourself. What else for part three? Yeah, tapping into your intuition more, really connecting with your gifts, your psychic abilities. Six of coins coming into balance within your own energies. Eight of cups, leaving, moving forward, you know, Whatever no longer serves you, whatever is not resonating for you, not being afraid to walk away and move forward. Stepping into that Queen of Wands energy, you know, that passionate, driven, self-motivated, sensual person that you are. And having that brand new beginning, you know, the Ace of Coins, that will bring you material rewards and success. What else for part three? Yeah, don't forget to take time out for of swords to rest, recharge, retreat. We all need to do that at times, especially, you know, in the winter months. You know, take that time out. 
Anything else in the pod? Three. Yeah, we've got the Hierophant energy. So yeah, that you're on that spiritual path, you're on that spiritual journey, and you're committing to it more. Whereas maybe before you were anti it. And we've got the Empress energy, look at that. Stepping into your Empress energy, being receptive, being open, being loving, being nurturing with yourself. So final guidance, attune to the divine. So yeah, really, you know, spend that time alone, rest, recharge, retreat, connect with your inner voice, your intuition. Lighten up, yeah. Life doesn't always have to be heavy. Life doesn't always have to be sad and hard. They want you to lighten up more, to get in a fun, joyful energy. And this is, message has been coming through a lot lately. And be humble, you know, be humble about who you are and where you're from. Even if you feel more confident, you don't have to be arrogant. It's not about that. It's about being quietly confident and humble about who you are. And you have, you have you know, great gifts within you. And trust all will be well. And we've got the beautiful green of the heart chakra and we've got Virgo energy there. So the healer, you know, Virgo is known as the healer. So this could be your path, you know, doing that healing on yourself and helping others to heal as well. So I'm going to leave it there, part three. Love and blessings. Take care.